Living things that cause disease. Diseases stop our bodies from working properly. There are different kinds of living things that cause disease. They infect other living things and grow and reproduce on or in the body of the living thing that they infect. Any living thing that lives on or in the body of another living thing is called a parasite. The living thing that a parasite infects is called the host. Bacteria are very small living things that we can only see using a microscope. Bacteria cause diseases such as cholera and pneumonia. Not all bacteria are harmful. Viruses are even smaller than bacteria. All viruses are harmful and cause diseases in humans, animals, and plants. Some viruses even infect bacteria. Humans get flu, chickenpox, and measles from viruses. The yeast that we use to make bread rise is a fungus. Mushrooms that we eat are also fungi, but some fungi are parasites that cause diseases. Ringworm in humans and animals. Athlete's foot in humans and rusts in plants are caused by fungi. There are other kinds of parasites that also cause infectious diseases. Malaria and dysentery are two diseases caused by these parasites. The body's defenses against diseases. Our body has different ways to stop us from being infected with diseases. We call these the body's defenses against diseases. Tears. Our tears contain a chemical substance that kills some bacteria. Mucus. Sticky mucus in our noses, windpipe, and other air passages traps germs. Skin. The skin acts as a barrier to stop germs from getting into the body. Acid. Acid in the stomach kills any germs in food we have eaten. Controlling the spread of diseases. Diseases can be spread by body contact and in food, in water, and in the air. There are different ways we can help to control the spread of diseases. Good hygiene. Many diseases are spread in food, water, and body fluids. We can help prevent the diseases from spreading by good hygiene. This means keeping yourself and the things around you clean. These are some of the things we can do. Wash your hands with soap and water before eating or working with food and after going to the toilet. Also, dry your hands well on a clean towel. Wash your hands after handling animals, cleaning up animal wastes, or gardening. Wash raw, unpeeled fruits and vegetables before eating them. Keep food covered. Do not leave food at room temperature, especially when the weather is hot, as bacteria and fungi grow faster when it is warm. Keep the kitchen, toilet, and surroundings clean. Wash knives and working surfaces in the kitchen with hot, soapy water after you have used them. Only drink safe, clean water. Boil water from rivers or reservoirs or treat it with bleach to kill germs. Do not use rivers or other types of water as a toilet. Cover your nose and mouth with a tissue when you cough or sneeze. If you do not have a tissue, cough or sneeze into your elbow, not your hand. Keep wounds covered with a plaster and do not touch other people's open wounds. Preventing insect bites. Some serious diseases such as malaria, yellow fever, and sleeping sickness are spread by insects. Malaria and yellow fever are spread by mosquitoes. Sleeping sickness is spread by the setsi fly. The insects don't cause the disease, but they spread the disease parasite when they bite you. The insects also do not get the disease themselves. We say the insects are vectors. The best way to prevent a disease spread by insects is not to get bitten. These are some of the ways you can prevent insect bite. Sleep under bed net. Wear long sleeves and long trousers. Keep doors and windows closed at night when mosquitoes are active. Use insect repellents on your skin to keep insects away. Burn mosquito coils to keep insects away.